time ago different civilization used different kinds of symbols for denoting the numerals yes today's topic is about roman numerals in roman civilization and we can say in european civilization they were using instead of numeral some symbols that is roman numerals they were using capital english alphabets not the full alphabet only seven alphabets for writing or for the calculating the numbers so let's start the topic with roman numerals before going to explain about the rules of roman numerals or how to write your roman numerals let me introduce the seven important symbols for notations in roman numerals so here are the seven important symbols i capital i v x l c d n so this i capital i represent one v represent five x represent ten l represent fifty C represent 100, D represent 500, M represent 1000. These are the important 7 symbols. Then how to write using the 7 symbols? How to create new numbers using the 7 symbols? For that, 3 important rules are there. The first and the most important, rule of repetition. So here, you can repeat a symbol three times. It should not exceed three times. And one more important thing you have to listen. 5, 50, 500. That means V. 5 represent here V. Then L represent 50. D represent 500. These five series numbers. Five series numbers like 5, 50, 500 will not repeat more than one time remaining all alphabets remaining all symbols represent three times and one more condition it should not repeat more than three times so the first rule of repetition rule of repetition v l d will not repeat more than one time it can repeat only one time and the remaining numbers like I, X, C and M can repeat three times. This symbols can repeat three times. Okay, this is the first rule. Please remind it. Then we will go for the second rule. Next is rule of subtraction. Here, if the first number is smaller than the second number, see, you can see I, V. I represent 1 and V represent 5. So, the first number is small than the second number. So, you have to subtract it. 5 minus 1, 4. So, the value of I, V is 4. Then comes one more example, I, X. Here I represent 1, X represent 10. So the first number is small number than the second number. So 10 minus 1 it is 9. So I, X represent 9. This is rule of subtraction. If the first number is smaller than the following number, we should subtract it. I will say one more example. X, C. X represent 10, C represent 100. So, first number is smaller than the following. That means the next number. So, 100 minus 10, 90. So, how you will write 90 in Roman numeral? X, C. This is the second rule of Roman numeral, rule of subtraction. Here we are going for the third rule. Rule of addition. Here is the third rule. Rule of addition. 
here we can say if the first number is bigger number for example c 100 then x x represent 10 so c x see the first number is bigger than the second number so we have to do addition that is the third rule if the first number is smaller than the second number we have to subtract if this first number is bigger we have to do addition so 100 plus 10 110 how to write c x 110 c x one more example x i x represent 10 i represent 1 so x y 10 plus 1 11 so how to write 11 x i this is the way we have to write roman numeral if you follow these three rules it is very easy to write numbers how to write 55 already 50 is there l then 5 is there l v this is 55 then how to write 40 4 0 4 0 so can we repeat x four times no we can we can't repeat we can repeat only three times so till 30 we can repeat x x x so how to write x sorry 30 x x x so this is the way we have to write 30 then how about 40 here 50 is there if you write one small number before the big number we can subtract it so l x see x represent 10 l represent 50 50 minus 10 40 x l means 40 now i will give some more examples using big numbers so 2000 how you will write 2000 as we already know already thousand is there in roman numeral m represent thousand so 2000 means m m okay then what about 3000 m m m then 4000 here we have one confusion right because we can't write m in four times we can't repeat m in four times so what more important information along with any symbol if you are using a bar over the alphabet over the capital alphabet if you are using a bar or a small line that means that value of the number will increase by thousands for example if i am writing v here v means 5 over the 5 if i am writing one line one bar okay this represents 5000 the value of 5 increased by 1000 so it is 5000 then similarly one more l l represent what 50 if i am writing one line over here 50000 got it then how i can write 4000 can you guess 4000 v over a small bar represent 5000 if i am writing m before this 5000 so 5000 minus 1000 see m represent 1000 over the v alphabet v one small bar is there small dash is there that represent 5000 so 5000 as we all know the first number is smaller than the second number we should subtract so 5000 minus 1000 the value is 4000 so m bar v represent 4000 then how we will write uh, 2020 this year in roman numeral 2020 2000 means m yen 1000 plus 1000 2000 then 20 how to write 20 x represent 10 one more x represent 20 so here it is 2020 i hope you all understood thank you so much